Alright guys, in this video here, we're going to talk about how we optimize our website, a web page when it comes to real estate with Rank Math. Rank Math is a great tool that is used for WordPress. I've been using it for <laughs> quite, a, quite a long time. And if you're not able to optimize your content, and it needs to be formatted, font formatted for the search engine such as Google. If it's not done correctly, you're probably not gonna rank naturally in the search engine. So the the, the only way for us to keep building our online presence, we gotta use this special tool called Rank Mouth, and I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to use it here in a second. Let's get started. <music> Okay, so what we have here is our real estate website slash web page that, that I created for Papa Homes. Um, and we created this in a other previous video. And it's just, just a simple website that listed the city that we're going after, which is in Shreveport, Bolger City. Um, has some, a few neighborhoods in there. Has some lot of content, the services, the things we're looking for, and it has an opt-in box where we can analyze their property. Uh, because if you got a website and you don't have an analyzed property box or autoresponder, then you might want to think about getting that. And um, I'm going to be doing a video on that in a future uh, video. So I'm going to be doing a, a good little in detail video to kind of show you guys how to do that the proper way, uh, how you can collect leads. So. But when it comes to this content, I want to try to get this content into the search engine, okay? But it has to be optimized. So we're going to use something called Rank Map. If you see, it's right here in the back office of my WordPress. It's, it got a lot of crazy little sections here. Dashboard analytics, SEO settings, 404 and monitor, and all these type of things. Don't let that scare you. But let me go directly to my page here. Uh, this is in the back office on my page here um, As what you would see you would see the company name you got to have your company name first because you want to build a brand and We buy houses bingo. I'm letting people know we buy houses in Shreveport Bolger City real estate Okay, so so this is this is going to cater to the people, the average people who are uh, looking to sell a property or buy a property. So the, those are the people who I'm trying to engage into the website, and also we buy houses. Uh, keyword here is going to engage people who want to sell a property specific. So and also like I said, and got got your company name here for the branding. All right, so. The first step, what you want to do once you install this plugin, uh, Rank Math will be right here. So first, you got to get the plugin. So go back here and go underneath plugins. Go to add new. We're gonna, we're gonna open it up in a new window here. And that's a good thing about WordPress, guys. They have thousands. <laughs> I mean, thousands, thousands of plugins. And these plugins can help run your website to the fullest. And I'm going to kind of share as many as, as I can with you. So I'm putting it in rank now. And it should come up here. It should come up here. Very simple plugin. See, I already have it right here. Rank now. Rank now is the best SEO plugin for WordPress to increase your SEO traffic. Um, and I, I just got to update it here. And, uh, so once you install it, it's going to show up right here on the opposite side of the page. So you can you can go through all the functions here. Um, let's 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 go to some general settings here, and we're going to look at a general settings here. Now now look guys, um, especially if you're in real estate here, if you're not internet or tech savage, I wouldn't mess with too many of these. Um, settings back here. Uh, I will leave it at at its def default um, because once you start messing around with these things here, things can kind of go a little crazy. Uh, but I might I might do a video in the future to go into a little bit more detail of rank mal. But as of now, you guys don't need to worry about these items here. What you need to worry about once you get installed, 
the piece of content that you're working on it will end up here on the right side of the page as you can see right here okay right side of the page so <clears throat> once your page is not optimized it give you a score right here okay it, it gave me a score out of 84 out of 100 that's pretty good I, I'd rather have it in the 90s but anything over 80 your web page is optimized it's great for the search engine it's great for Google it's great for Yahoo it's great for for MSN MSN.com it's great for all those types of websites so how do you optimize your content to get to that that level there so you know your content is great so this is a great thing about rank math let's skim down to the bottom of the page here let me get off this let's skim down to the bottom of the page here Here's rank math right here. This is the whole entire plugin right here. So, what you want to do is put your focus keyword right here. Now, it can be more than one keyword, but here's here's my experience. I like to focus on one keyword per content. Now, if I'm doing an epic wow blog post, I will focus on many keywords. But when I'm just focused on one area, one city, one topic, one keyword, that keyword is Shreveport, Bolger City, Real Estate. That's the keyword I want to focus on. Okay. So, what I have to get into everything else as of now, let me briefly give you this. If you see this one here, this is a, this is a snippet. This is a snippet. All right. You want to know what a snippet is? So, you come over to the search engine and you look at any listing. See this listings here? Well, blah, 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 blah. Let's let's go to page number one here, and I'm just gonna put in I'm gonna go to Shreveport, Bolger City, and I'm gonna skim down. You're gonna see how snippets are. I'm sure a good snippet, right right here from from Zillow. All these are snippets. So if you can compare, let me bring this over right here. So you got my company name and the title comes here you got it, it got their title right here and a little bit of detailed content with a little bit of detailed content you see it's laid out just like Google okay so so to give you an option if I click edit snippet do not mess with these things here keep keep those the same I can put my description there okay I put my description right into here and when Google pitched this up, this is what it's going to say. It's going to it's, it's going to say specific what I had right right here. Now, <laughs> sometimes Google would take exactly what you have here. Sometimes they'll chop it up, but um, in retrospect, they will have exactly what you have here. Now, you see my description is a little bit too long here. It's a, it's a little bit too long. It needs to be only about 160 words here. But I'm at 275 now. Why? Because if you if you go off of this here, this is probably 160 characters here. Ca characters. I don't know why I said words. This is probably 160 60 characters here. So I can easily chop this up and, and, and cut it cut it off and make it 160. But I want to keep it just like that. Okay. So th that's the first place you start on how to optimize this part for your uh, listing into Google so I'm gonna close that back up now let's let's move on to the good stuff now here's the great thing about this here right now it give you four categories here basic SEO additional title and readability content readability I'm gonna admit me some one so let's start the first one basic SEO it asked me your, are you using a focus keyword in the SEO title? So we'll go up here. My focus keyword bingo is in my title. You, you can't see it all here, but if I click here, blah, 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 if, I, if I click here, you, you'll see it. Where is it at? Oh, well, I'm sorry. It's up here. It's in my title. I'm using my keyword. That, 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 that keyword that was right here, that's the keyword I'm using. Okay, next it asks, are you, are you um, focused on your keyword and your SEO meta tag description? Where's your meta tag description? It's right here. Where's the keyword at? 
to right here. Both you see the real estate. I got inside my description. Let's go on to the next one. Is your keyword using the URL? Yep. So make sure when you changing your URL up here, it's Bolger City Real Estate. Okay, got that. And let's let's look at something else. Go ahead and close this. Let's go. Now, does your focus keyword appear in the first ten percent of your content? Let's go back up. Let's find out right here it's in the first percent of my content remember guys this is this is this is optimizing your web page this is these are the factors that Google are looking for when they get ready to index your page into the search engine because in the future videos I'm gonna show you my Google webmaster uh, back office where where it shows that it's indexed into the search engine uh, but we're going to get into that stuff later so let's, let's, move, let's move on to another um, keyword focus in the content I got I got the keyword focus in the content my content is 221 words long it wants to be at least over 600 words long so it's 821 words so let's, let's look at another one here uh, I got my focus keyword in a subheader at the top yep I got my focus keyword found in the image yep and because my focus keyword is found in this image right here because if I edit I go over here bingo I turn to the text that's my focus keyword in my text because just in case this is so important just in case that a website um, uh, Google tries to read the website and they try, and they're trying to read this image if, if, they, if they can't read the image what do they have to read it's the title to the end image, so it, it it tells it tells Google what the image is about. All right, so let's let's look at a few more here. Um, uh, keyword uh, density. This this, this means how many times you use your keyword throughout your content. Um, you're linking to an external resource. Anytime you write some good content, uh, you always want to link out to something that's. Um, Let's see. Let's see. Y'all want to look at? Well, I'm gonna go ahead and do this one. This one, this link here is is, is link linked to an internal piece of content. It's how to become a realtor. Um, I got a great a, a, a great infograph on my website that show you how to become a realtor in all 50 states. So I interlink internally into my website with that link right there. But I want to show you the link that that linked out to someone else. This is Bolger City Real Estate. It's not real estate, but Bolger City. This is this is a, a external link They're going to a Wikipedia, pretty much letting anyone know more about Bolger City. So that that gives Google when, when you link out, that tells Google that not only are you try to promote your content, you also trying to try to promote other popular content on the internet. So th this is what makes it so important to link out. You link out to a great Replicable, replicable website because Wikipedia is a great replicable website, so that's why I linked out to that. So let me skim down to something else. Uh, what if we then? Um, go to readability. Um, this is a lot of basic things that's easy to follow. Uh, you use a number <laughs> in your SEO title, um, so that's that's that's, that's something too. Um, readability so as this content readability um, the one I like the best on content readability is are you using short paragraphs and guys I'm gonna tell you something before I get out this video short paragraphs are powerful no one wants to read mumbo-jumbo things like take, take for instance if I had this here all together, just mushed up together, <laughs> I mean, just like this here. I'm saying, boom, and boom. If I had all that smushed up together, um, that wouldn't be easy to read. You know what I mean? And also, if you notice, it, it took it took my score down um, by three points. Let me let me let me go out here. I bet it's in red now. 
Yeah. <laughs> uh, at least one paragraph is too long. Consider using short paragraph. Okay, so if I come back up here and let me let me let me redo this. Bingo. I'm click off here. It should it should it should, it should bring it back. It should bring it back. Okay. I should increase my score back up. Uh, let's see. I'll try again. Uh, all right. Now it should it should increase one once I update it. It should increase my score and bring it back to eight or four percent. But you don't want to have a paragraph that's all pushed together. So here here at the end of this, you will see that. By optimizing your whole entire website and doing the appropriate changes to your website, it makes your website more indexable and it, it, it ranks accordingly just easily. Now, I'm going to be honest with you guys, 98, 99% of the website don't do this. So if you just do this specifically without even doing SEO, you will rank higher than anyone just, just doing these the basic things. But... Um, it's going to take more than that to get higher rankings, but these are the basic. Uh, so if there's 100 websites and only 12 of them optimize their website, then if you just simply just optimize your the correct way, you at least can get in the top 20 just by optimizing the right way. Then with a little bit of hard work, you can take it a step further. So, so guys, look, this was Rank Mouth. Go out there. Um, get it. Um, it's a great plugin for WordPress. I haven't used it on any other platforms, but on WordPress, it does wonders. It does great. Go out there and take advantage of it. Hey guys, I see you in the next video. I see you later. Bye bye.